Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, we're being joined by Sarah Arginal, author of The Whole Self Lifestyle for Working Parents, a practical four-step framework to defeat burnout and escape survival mode for good. Sarah, welcome to the show. Hi, Paul. Thanks so much for having me. Well, we are thrilled to have you. Are you ready to begin? I am. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? Well, I was that first-time author writing my book last year uh, about this time. And the best advice I got was to focus on the manuscript, get the manuscript done no matter how bad it was. Um, I can get it to be perfectionist And it was really helpful to just focus on getting the words down, get the chapters finished and get that full manuscript before I really focused on editing and publishing and marketing and all of the other stuff that goes into it. Um, so that, that was what was most helpful for me. I'm not sure if that would be my best advice for others, but that's what got my book out into the world for sure. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? I think for me, I self-published uh, my first book, which also has a companion workbook alongside it. And I think it was a lot of the administrative logistical details that I, I didn't really realize there were so many of them. I, you know, I had kind of seen articles or listened to podcasts and it sounded like, okay, there's maybe like 10 or 15 things that need to be done to get this actually published. But when I started diving into it, I realized it's more around a hundred different things and they all have to kind of go in a certain order. So there were certain timing issues. Like if I didn't have one thing done, I had to hold on for that until I could do another thing. So there was a lot of that stuff that when I finally published the book, getting all of that sort of straight in my head and understanding everything I had to do and when I had to do it and you know how that would affect my time frames and all of that stuff. That was probably the most challenging piece of it all for me. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch. That has worked well. My favorite marketing strategy for getting my book out specifically has been getting interviewed on podcasts. I host my own podcast and have been doing that for a few years. And I have been on other podcasts over the years. And that has just become a really fun way and quick. And in terms of ROI, you know, I'm usually talking to an audience of pretty targeted people. Um, you know, the, the topics really aligned with what the people who are listening are looking for. Um, so for me, that has been not only the most fun way, but definitely the most effective way to get the word out about my book as well. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? I think my favorite book is Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less by Greg McEwen. Um, I read this book a number of years ago now, and it, what it allowed me to do was to stop trying to do everything all at once and really slow down and pick and choose the, the activities and the relationships and all the things in my life that would actually have the biggest impact. So instead of just doing everything I, I can try to jam into a day or fit into a day, it was really helpful to step back and be thoughtful about the places where I invested my time and energy. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? I love at the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or what you did. They will remember how you made them feel by Maya Angelou. Um, I think just right now the world is crazy and it's been something that's been going through my head a lot <laughs> just in terms of giving empathy and becoming a ki the kind of person that I would like to you know, be around other people. Sarah, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? My hub is at arginalinstitute.com. Sarah, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. It, thank you so much for having me. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.